My name's Matthew Hill. I lead one of the teams here that works on porous materials. So these are powders with lots and lots of holes inside of them, and these can be used for just about anything. And what we do is try to take something that's an interesting scientific discovery and turn it into something that we can use out in the real world. So one of the materials we work with is called metal organic frameworks or MOFs and these things they look like salt or sugar crystals but inside them is a huge number of holes and those holes uh, create a, a lot of surface inside so they're kind of like a sponge and there's so much surface that there's actually a football field worth of surface area in about a teaspoon worth of material. What we do is use all of that surface to soak up a target molecule. One really exciting use for our MOFs is in storing hydrogen. The first hydrogen powered car has just come to Australia, it's up in Sydney. What you do is you fill up a, basically a gas cylinder with the hydrogen uh, to run the car. And it turns out if you put our MOFs, our special sponges in the tank, you can store as much as twice as much hydrogen in that tank. And the exciting thing about a hydrogen car is that the only thing that comes out the exhaust pipe is water so there's no carbon dioxide emitted at all so it's very exciting as a way to stop our carbon emissions. A lot of people would think science is not uh, necessarily a very creative field but I think it's it's very creative. My aunt is a professional painter and a lot of people say that her and I are very similar people and how did we end up in such different areas and I say it's actually the same it's about imagination and creativity. And so every day we come to work, we're doing something that no one else in the history of the universe has ever done. And so that is necessarily creative. And we have to imagine what the future might be. We're often working on timelines of many years. And if we can't imagine what the end of our path might be, then we tend to go around in a circle. Into the future, in the next couple of years, we're really hopeful you'll start to see our moths out there in the real world. We're only really limited by what we can imagine using these things for and any application where you can think of separating or storing or releasing some target molecule of interest and there's just about every industry where this is relevant, we think these materials might play a part.